Okay. Show me. Hi there ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Dutch RC channel and I am excited, I've got me a box, yes, with, with stuff. Um, yeah, this uh, video here marks the start of a new project or a build series. We are going to be building a quadcopter, yes, and it's going to be a, a bit of an experiment as well. In the description of this uh, video, uh, down below there, uh, there are links to all the products in this box here and um, have a look uh, as you'll see it's a bit uh, different than you might expect especially the motors by the way uh, the frame is also a little smaller than the common 200 size quadcopter it's a 4 inch quadcopter or it will be a 4 inch quadcopter and yeah, the object is uh, to um, build a light, uh, nimble quadcopter, an acro quadcopter. It's an experiment, uh, so I don't know if it uh, will uh, fly uh, well enough, we'll see. I'll take you on this uh, journey to see uh, if, uh, if things work out. Um, if it doesn't work out, I could simply re uh, replace the motors with slightly bigger and heavier ones. So uh, it doesn't really matter if it uh, fails or not. We're gonna learn something from uh, this project. Um, so, a box. Uh, you've been uh, watching a uh, lovely box <laughs> for a few minutes. Um, in this video, like I said, this is the start, the kickoff for this project. In this video, I'll um, show you all the parts uh, briefly. In the next videos we'll take a uh, detailed look at all the parts separately. So the frame, the motors, ESCs, and the flight controller, and the FPV gear. And obviously after that we'll have a look if it flies well. So um, let's have a look what's in this box. Okay, <laughs> it uh, hardly uh, fits in shot uh, really, but uh, here are all the parts for uh, this uh, build. Minus uh, the frame. I'll show you the frame in a second as well. So what do we have here? We've got 4 inch King Kong props, 4 leaves and they are 40-40 uh, propellers. So the pitch is also 40. We've got 5 motors, 1 spare and these are T motors or uh, Tiger motors. Uh, F3020, 800 kV, yes sir. So yes, the setup should have quite a bit of power. Um, and again, we'll see how well that works out. I've got a 4 in 1 ESC. So 4 ESCs in one uh, uh, plate. That'll go uh, in the frame, so they won't be mounted uh, on the arms of the quadcopter. Uh, partly to save weight and I've heard good things about these ESCs so I want to check them out. We'll see how well that works out. And in the detailed video about the propulsion system I'll have uh, a look at uh, what uh, this actually is. It's also supposed to be a PDB but uh, does it have uh, all the bells and whistles uh, you'd want from a PDB? We'll see. And over here I've got a receiver. It is the lightest and smallest fast receiver there is. So if you are also uh, using a Futaba system, uh, have a look. I really like these receivers. I've got uh, quite a bunch of them and they work out well. Okay, on the FPV side of things we've got a Runcam Swift 2. 2 version 2 of the Runcam Swift. That means that this FPV camera has a built-in OSD, which is nice because neither our PDB or our flight controller has a OSD. So with this FPV camera we do end up with an OSD. We've got ourselves a Foxeer FPV antenna. Um, I've also heard good things about those. Let me show you what it looks like. There might be uh, familiar to you. I haven't tried them before, so this will be my first venture into that. Um, I've got myself a buzzer 
and an Ayamway video transmitter uh, with a selectable power output and uh, 40 channels I think mm, doesn't say I'm uh, assuming it's uh, 40 channel and it uh, can uh, live on 6 to, to 28 volts so a nice range uh, for uh, for this uh, FV transmitter and uh, over here um, I haven't tried these before either. It is a F4 flight controller and it's a pretty basic bare flight controller in the sense that it doesn't have uh, connectors on them. Uh, you have to solder up everything. Um, should keep it light as well and I'm interested to see if this flight controller can run uh, PIT and gyro loops of 8K. Should be uh, able to, but uh, we'll see in the detailed video of that. Okay, let me clear the table a little, so I can show you the frame. There you go, a, a quadcopter frame, and it is a GAP RC, GAP AX4 Airbus, uh, quite a mouthful, 4 inch frame. And uh, that means it's around a 190 wheelbase size of uh, frame and it's nice and light, very nice and light. Um, the next video in the series will be about this frame. Um, it's already built up but uh, as you'll see uh, I've already shot that uh, video uh, before this video. So I could show you uh, the components, how it's built and uh, as you can also see it has a uh, PDB comes with the frame. Um, I won't be using this one obviously because I'm using that all-in-one ESC from Racerstar. And um, I've uh, done some uh, painting on this frame as well. The dark green isn't on the frame uh, stock. That's uh, all my doing. Tell me what you <laughs> think. Yeah this uh, quadcopter will have a uh, all green theme to it. Light green, yes. I uh, uh, hope that makes sense. Um, these frames are, by the way, uh, available in different sizes. Uh, I've got a 4 inch one here. There is also a 5 inch one and a 6 inch version. And the only difference really is that the arms are longer on uh, those frames. 4 millimeter arms on this frame. And it's a bit of a different build up. It doesn't have uh, vertical standoffs with a uh, bottom and a top plate. It has side walls, so to speak. You can, however, easily access the electronics uh, in this frame. As you can see, you can uh, clearly see the PDB. So, yeah, that's it. Uh, that was my uh, kickoff for this project. And again, have a look in the description uh, to see all the components I'll be using. Maybe you want to give me some feedback on that. Tell me what you think of that uh, choice of components. Will it fly? <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure it will fly, but will it fly well? And I will uh, be posting updates on this project uh, regularly and I hope to be able to get it flying within a few weeks. So, uh, thank you very much for watching. Stand by for my updates on this project and hope to catch you on the next video. Bye bye.